I was sent this smart wireless bridge to give my thoughts on it and make this short video. So here goes. Let's see what's inside. Get a user manual. You get two hose clamps. These are likely used for the pole to connect the device. They last better than tie wraps because they don't break with the UV. A couple Cat5 cables. These are probably PoE power supplies. Yep, that's what these are. So you could plug this in, run one end of your Cat5 to the device and the other one into your network. And that would give power to the device if your network did not have power over Ethernet enabled, which some of them don't. There's a second one. And now here are the two wireless bridges. ULNA on each of them. And now one of these will be configured as a master and the other configured as a slave. So we'll want to check that out and get this configured and working on the ground before we go ahead and put it up uh, in the air because we're going to need to get these up in the air, away from the ground and the, four, the trees and whatnot so we get a good connection and we can get that true uh, 300 megabit um, point to point. That's what we'll be looking for. These have, looks like a signal strength indicator here on the side power activity on LAN 1, LAN 2, and then a wireless LAN uh, signal strength. So it uh, looks like a good set of equipment. Let's get it together and test it out. I've got the wireless bridge now connected up to power. So you've got your Cat5 cable going to the PoE device plugged in the wall. Same thing over here, got it plugged in there. And this blue line here is gonna be my LAN line that comes into this laptop. Now the instruction manual is telling you how to configure your IP addresses in your computer to be able to talk to the wireless bridge. But one thing I note is that they, they show an address for the wireless bridge here of 105, but marked on the devices are the IPs 101 and 201. So in my case, 101 is what was needed. So if I go ahead and type that into my computer browser here, with 101, I'll get this login screen and the, the default uh, user ID and password is admin and the default password is login. So if I type that in, hit enter, now I'm into the configuration pages. And what I'm gonna be able to do here is I'm gonna update a new password. I'm gonna update a couple other settings for the network that this bridge is gonna support. And then I'm gonna save that all in here. It's gonna configure the master device here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put these up on the pole and see if I get a connection from the master over to the slave. Uh, one thing to note is the master will be indicated here with that little switch and that dot. And on the slave device, the little switch is to the left and there's no dot. This is showing that they're both on the same channel here, channel one. Uh, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you've got everything precisely connected so that you can see that this is working. Okay, so we'll get this configured up and then get these things put up on the pole. Take a look. What we're doing here is we're gonna connect that building, which has internet. We're gonna connect that all the way up this road here. And you can just barely see it, but there's a gate right up here under those trees. And uh, that signal is gonna go all the way across to that gate. That's the objective. And there's the master end of the wireless bridge mounted right there at the peak of that building, just under the eave. And now we'll go get the slave put up on a pole down here, just, just high enough so that those two can see each other. So we got quite a few pieces of pipe here. We'll make a tower out of that. And then I'll mount the slave portion of the bridge on that pipe, uh, run the, land cable down to a router that'll be connected at the base. Uh, probably run a couple cameras on here too that'll take advantage of the wireless bridge and be able to send that signal back. And we'll have extended the wireless all the way out to that gate. All right, so we've got the slave mounted on that pole up at the top here at the gate. You can just see it in there. Mounted up there with a camera. And that is looking all the way across the property here to the master, which is mounted on that building. You can just barely see it peeking up there. 
and they've got line of sight now. And we're gonna head give this a test. Gonna go ahead and activate my app on my phone. And there we go. We we're able to reach the Wi Fi enabled uh, gate opener. And you can see that the gate is indicating open on my app. So you can see that this Wi Fi bridge covers a long distance, very easy to set up, and it works very reliably. And you can keep your Wi Fi signal extended out way beyond your house. So it's a pretty good deal. Hey, I hope the video was helpful. I hope this information was useful to you. And as always, I hope you have a great day.